Hello my YouTube friends! OBS has only gotten better and better over the years. And the fact that it's totally free and open source makes it even better. So it seems like kind of a dick move to ask for more. But today, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Today I'm going to list my five things that I would love to see added to OBS in the future. We can dream, right? So you know what? Let's get to it! Now I should just say right off the bat, the reason why these features aren't already in OBS is probably because the developers are dedicated to keeping OBS as light as possible on your computer. That means nearly anyone on any computer can run it with very few problems. A really noble goal for sure. With that said, let's count down my top five OBS features wish list. The number five feature that I'd like to see are simple Photoshop functions. I'm talking about stroke, like this one where the outer edges have a stroke to them, shadow, like that one down there that has a shadow around it, and glow, like this one. Sure, there's a plugin that does this, but I would really like to see it integrated directly. These are simple things that could easily be added to enable beginners to create great looking layouts right in OBS. And since I'm greedy, I want to see more powerful transform features like Photoshop. I want to be able to distort or add perspective to cameras, video assets, and text. Like this. To me, that's really everything that you would need to create really cool layouts right in OBS directly without a bunch of external overlays. I mean, that would be totally awesome. Now my number four feature is animated text features. Sure, right now we can scroll text, but that's about it. That means to create title animations or lower thirds, we have to use outside apps. Here's an example of what I mean by lower thirds right down there. It's very simple to create, but of course you can't do it without doing some sort of outside process. To create these title animations and lower thirds, you're going to have to use outside apps. And this can be a really confusing and complicated process. Anytime that you want to change a name or a title, you got to do it all over again. Now the lower third plugin for OBS is generally complicated and difficult to learn and use. Integrated text animation would fix all of that. Imagine being able to pick any animation, add your text, set up the frequency that you want to see it and the timing of the animation, and just place it in your overlay. It would be an absolute game changer that could easily be integrated into alerts and other features as well using the streamer bot. Now my number three feature is pre-made layouts. OBS has added a lot of cool features to help users get set up and go live as fast as possible. But there isn't a lot in the software to help new users create a stream layout. So imagine having a bunch of standard stream layouts already created in scene collections. They could look something like this. The boxes could be areas that you need to change the properties on, like camera or game boxes or backgrounds. So in this example, these would just be set up and you'd go into your scene collection and you'd be able to select it, like basic game. And here we come in and we have an intro and an intermission and a game setup. So an intro, you've got your title and your background and some music. But all of these are basically empty. So all you would have to do when you come in here is select title and go into properties and put your title in there. And you can change the text and all that other stuff and shrink it up any way you want. And there you go. And you can easily put a background in here. And that's pretty simple. This is just a placeholder background. So we can basically select it go to properties, go to browse, and select a background image that we want. And there we go. So now we've got a scene all ready to go with a stream starting soon. The same would apply for intermission. We've got a camera in here, nothing is selected. We can just go to properties, drop it, and select the camera and the microphone, which is very, very simple. The same applies for the game scene. All you have to do is go in here. You can see you just right click and add your properties for your camera. You can go into game capture. Once your game is running, go to properties, drop it down, select your game and go to game audio, right click properties, drop this down and select your game audio. And bada bing, now you've got a complete stream setup 
because they're already created in the scene collection. Now, are these things going to be epic and beautiful? No, but they're already set up so that somebody who's just using OBS for the first time actually at least has a little bit of guidance as to what they're supposed to actually do. And I think this would be really helpful for new users. And all OBS would have to do is create a none placeholder with text on it that says background or camera or whatever so that they would show up in the preview screen and you'd know exactly what you were supposed to do. You just select camera and then go to properties and find your camera. Very cool. And the best part is once you're done, you've already made your stream layout with all the basic features. All you have to do is click the go live button and you're off and running. Now this one would be pretty easy to integrate and make it much easier for a new user to set up a stream. Now my number two feature is the integrated guest feature. There are a lot of third party ways to add guests to your live stream, but imagine how cool it would be to send emails from OBS and have guests connect directly. Now there would need to be a waiting room feature so you could add guests directly from there, but it would streamline and simplify adding guests big time. Each guest would automatically have its own audio source that you could easily adjust in OBS to get the best results. Now the guests would also have the full real-time screen and audio of what's going out to the audience, making it so much easier for them to interact with what's actually happening on screen in real time. I mean, this makes reaction videos and music streams a lot easier to produce in OBS right out of the box. That would be an incredible addition. Now I work really hard to try to create content that I think you're going to enjoy. And sometimes I hit and sometimes I miss, but it's really hard to know for sure. And that's where you can really help me out. If you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and leave it a thumbs up. And if it's not your cup of tea, please don't hesitate to leave it a thumbs down. If every single person watching this video right now leaves it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I'm going to know immediately whether this is the kind of content that you want to see. So thumbs up or thumbs down right now. Thank you very much for helping me out. Let's get back to the video. And now the number one feature on my OBS wish list, and that's a dump button. If you don't know what a dump button is, it's a button you can push to cut a section of your live feed in case of cursing or some other ridiculous issue that happens. How it works is the broadcast is delayed by a few seconds. When the dump button is pressed, it dumps those seconds and pushes the broadcast to absolute live with no delay, thereby eliminating the unwanted language or footage that got messed up. Then usually the broadcast will add the delay back in when there's a commercial break. And because most platforms enable you now to kick off your own ad breaks manually, there isn't any reason why you couldn't do this in OBS using the delay feature that already exists. All the developers would need to do is add a dump feature that requires you to set up a broadcast delay. Then when you hit the dump button, there should be a message that tells you your stream is currently running on zero delay. You could then kick off a 30 second ad break on your platform of choice and then push a button in OBS that would pause the broadcast to regain the delay that you want set. And of course, once the delay is set, the message would disappear saying that there's no delay. A dump button like this is an added layer of protection that a streamer needs to bring on live guests without risking the channel's strike status. I would absolutely love to use a feature like this to add audience members in my live stream without fear of trolls ruining my stream. Now that's my top five wish list of features. Are there features that you'd like to see added? Let me know about it down in the comments. I have no doubt that someone from the OBS team is going to watch this video, so you just never know. And if you are new to OBS, you should check this video out so you can get started streaming quickly. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.